How well do you know your body? Not just the litany of aches and pains, but do you know what makes your body feel good? Do you know what brings your body pleasure? And do you feel that pleasure all the way through you? Or do you feel it as a tactile? Do you feel it on the surface of your body as a stimulation of a nerve, as opposed to something that you can bring all the way through you? Or do you feel joy on the inside of your body at intimate contact, but there's a little bit of a disconnect between you and the physical sensation? Most of us walk around totally disembodied. We are educated and taught to disconnect from the wisdom of our bodies, from the natural knowledge that our bodies hold, and certainly from our intimate knowledge of our bodies. There's a prescribed like doctrine of what we're supposed to allow ourselves to be turned on by and then not turned on by. And what I'm asking you today is, what is it? What is it? Does your turn on start with something visually beautiful? Does it start tactily with a touch, you touching or someone touching you? Does it start from inside your heart and then move to your body? And if you are someone that's tactile and it starts with a touch, how do you bring that inside you? Because obviously the most rewarding intimacy and sex is connected sex. Physical exercise sex can be um, really fun exercise, but it stops there. And I think that's the least of what sex is. I think, first of all, sex doesn't need to have penetration to have that happen. Or let me rephrase, you could be penetrated without having intercourse. You can be completely penetrated as a woman. And maybe you, you can be completely penetrated as a man. So what I'm asking you today is to take a moment, maybe in the shower, when you're by yourself, maybe with when you're with your partner. Feel into your body. What is your body asking for? What does it want? What does it desire? And then when you feel that desire, where is it? Is it just in your body part? Is it in your heart? Does it start in your brain? Where is it? And then how do you circulate that energy out from your fingertips all the way into your heart, to the tip of your head, to the bottom of your feet? Because when you can circulate that kind of creative energy and then you come even if you're by yourself, that can be amazing. Or if you bring that energy to someone else, think about how, and invite them to do the same. Think about how powerful that energy becomes. So my charge today to you is to know what you want and know what you desire in terms of your body and pleasure. And do you ask for it? Not the worst charge today. And I will see you tomorrow.